Something I found to be very interesting was that while there are many attack ads out against Clinton, she is not wasting her time yet doing the same. Her announcement video highlights everyday people and shows her being down to earth. Only time will tell, though, whether voters bite. I'm running for president, so I'm hitting the road to earn your vote because it's your time. And I hope you'll join me on this journey. Hillary Clinton made her presidential announcement in an unconventional way to appeal to the masses and make her campaign more about the people. But the right is trying to paint a different picture and they're wasting no time in doing so. Hillary Clinton represents the worst of the Washington machine. The arrogance of power, corruption and cover up, conflicts of interest and failed leadership with tragic consequences. The Washington machine is destroying the American dream. That 60 second spot was put out by Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, who is also running for president. The ad will run in early primary states like Iowa, which is where the likely Democratic nominee set off to in a road trip. Nearly every major Republican hopeful has responded to her announcement. Senator Marco Rubio even making mention of Clinton in his presidential announcement speech. A leader from yesterday. <laughs> began a campaign for president by promising to take us back to yesterday. <laughs> yesterday is over. And Clinton's new logo also receiving criticism. Some say the H looks like a roadside hospital sign. Others paint a more sinister picture, saying it looks like planes crashing into the world towers. What we do know is that the stakes are heightened and the opportunities limitless. Now, with all these attacks, one must ask, do attack ads and jabs really work? Will studies suggest that they are in fact memorable and effective? Brie Teeley, One America News.